We welcome you to the first round of the NIT. A windy day on the banks of the Ohio River as the San Francisco Dons of the West Coast Conference have blown into town to take on the number two seeded Cincinnati Bearcats of the Big 12 Conference here at Fifth Third Arena. A very different styles of basketball. You could say elite for both these teams. San Francisco has an elite half court offense when it comes to efficiency. Cincinnati has an elite defense. Cincinnati defeated West Virginia and number 16 Kansas in the Big 12 tournament before falling to Baylor in their final game of the season. Now moving into postseason action, Seamoss Lukosius, the hot shooting three point sniper, averaging 11 points per game, this time backing into the lane against Malik Thomas in the semifinals of the West Coast Conference Tournament. They lost to Gonzaga three times this season as they were fighting with St. Mary's and Gonzaga in the top quarter of the West Coast Conference standings as Aziz Bandego, the big man. And especially in the half-court offense. San Francisco. A couple years under former head coach Todd Golden, who's now at and Lukosius can shoot the ball well. Here is Dan Skillings, the sophomore. And San Francisco's in a matchup zone right now. Skillings got his own rebound. A point of emphasis at shoot around this afternoon for Coach Wes Miller in Cincinnati was getting extra possessions. They felt that the offensive rebounding was going to be a huge key to a Bearcats victory. Cincinnati 12th in the country in offensive rebounding per game this season as the dump off inside to Mobo, his first touch of the game. Marcus Williams drains the three. San Francisco without Ryan Beasley, their star freshman who's really been playing well down the stretch. He's out with an illness. Bandago gets the lob from Lukosius. San Francisco likes to get out and run in transition. I've gotten away with a travel there by Newbury. Instead, Malik Thomas hits a three. Two threes. The only two made field goals for this game against Gonzaga, where he scored 22 points. He's had 20 plus in two of his last four. Today Thomas burning That's by smart. the defense and finishing with the left. Let it fly. Williams now one for three from the floor. His one make is a triple. Here's Skillings with the rim run. Pretty good, Mike, for a guy who didn't start playing organized basketball until the ninth grade, as you see the three on the other end by Malik Thomas, his second triple. I agree. It's really good, but you can't relax. If you do, San Francisco will make you pay. That is part of their offense, getting up the floor and running early. Bandago fouled on the alley-oop attempt. He'll go to the line and win. Knows postseason success from his time as a player under Roy Williams at North Utah Valley. Had a double First time as well as Jamil Reynolds for Cincinnati and Volodymyr Markovetsky into the game for San Francisco goes by the nickname Vova. Here's Newbury missed a three pointer from that spot earlier hits it this time. So Cincinnati's so worried about the drive that on that pick and pop it's wide open action for San Francisco. Simas Lukosius. San Francisco has made four shots in this game all four of them from three point range. Lukosius this time in the corner. He's a rhythm shooter. Off balance at the free throw line. Five in a row for Seamoss Lukosius. Cincinnati a one point lead. We saw flashes of what Lukosius can do offensively when he scored 31 points in the opening round game against West Virginia in the Big 12 tournament. As Williams, little set. San Francisco, as we've seen already, likes to shoot a lot of three-pointers. Seven of their 12 attempts have been from three here today. Four on the shot clock for Newbury. That's the first two-point field goal of the game for the Dons. Excuse me, the second. Five quick points for Newbury. We saw him knock down a three, and then he went into a Barkley option. And still is just so crafty. Statue of Oscar Robertson in front of the main entrance of Fifth Third. It feels like big time basketball. It feels like great history of college basketball. And you walk in, and this place is beautiful. I've been blown away ever since I walked in. Got some renovations a few years ago. Nice made pass. this a fantastic venue as Newbury gets the. Uh, San Francisco runs a lot of their offense at the top of the key through their post players. 
Oh, and Reynolds just gave up on the play after Newbury picked his pocket. And a hustle play for San Francisco this season is all West Coast Conference honorable mention honors at the end of the regular season. Check that, nine points for Duedo Newbury, the junior from London. The answer from the freshman, Jizzle J. About the backcourt of Thomas and James and the accompaniment of the sophomore, Dan Skillings. A lot of room to grow here in Cincinnati. Uh, there's no question about it. And that man right there is a huge part of it. It was a point of emphasis to shoot around this afternoon, finding Lukosius off of those shots. Thomas answers on the other end. Malik Thomas, his third three-point field goal percentage. If I was the point guard of Cincinnati, I'd be wanting to run pin down action for Lukosius as often as I possibly can. They almost got him again. Tried to get open with the side dribble, go. and he did. Simas Lukosius got the pin down screen yep. from John Newman. You saw it too. James had popped away. Bandego to Lukosius in the corner. Thought about it. A broken play. James, shimmy shake. Fade away. <laughs> He's just in the park. And when, when he's, you don't even need to worry about the Gonzaga and St. Mary's losses. They lost to Utah State by one. Right. Utah State, it could be in the Sweet 16. They're that good. They lost to Grand Canyon by four points. They'll be in the NCAA tournament. We got a law of action from Sharp Jumps. That ranks the top ten of the country in field goal percentage. Just bad. Dago couldn't handle it underneath the rim for Cincinnati. They'll go again to the lob. Bobo brings it down and goes right back up. Catches everything. Not an easy catch amongst traffic. All led to a second effort for Malik Thomas, who had it rattled out. High dribble for Dede, and he'll go to the free throw line. Second foul on Malik Todd to reach in and get a quick steal. So when you bring the ball above the defender, it's going to spell on the bench. It's also one of the reasons why Cincinnati is so good at the three-minute scoring drought for San Francisco. Not much better for Cincinnati. He's missed their last eight from the floor. Thomas will try a three again. First one he's made on the day in three attempts and extends the Bearcats' lead out to five. And Skilling's at the half, and we'll get into that discussion a little bit more. But both these teams, they want to be here. You look at San Francisco, this is their fifth postseason appearance in 40 years. Of course they want to be here. Of course they want to show out for their program as Thomas hits another one. We didn't fly all the way to Cincinnati, take two planes to get here. It's just like say, hey, we're just going to play one game. We flew out here to win this thing. And Skilling's a corner three-pointer, the sixth made three for the Cincinnati Bearcats in half number one. One more than the free shooting San Francisco Dons have made. And there goes that step. They heard <laughs> you. Robbie Beasley matches with the sixth three-pointer. Oh, here in half number one. Good matchup between the Bearcats and the Dons. Eric Roth and Mike O'Donnell courtside at Fifth Third Arena as Reynolds tripped. Reed caught it. Foul going up. Like something that a little bit inconsistent this year for the Bearcats. Pretty identical for both of these teams with 147 to go here in the half. A turnover there, a bad one. And shot of jumps. The two on one out. Iowa State, they do not make mistakes in transition. That two on one fast break was a perfect example. Half second difference between the game clock and the shot clock. Seven seconds to go for Day Day Thomas. Lobby, Bandago, too short on the entry pass. And we'll have for San Francisco. It's Lukosius to throw it in. James off the curl. Jizzle James blocked by Mobo. And a shot clock violation. We should still have six tenths of a second on the game clock. Williams, the heave, nearly hitting the jumbotron and careening out of bounds all this year. Their first year in the Big 12, a 7 and 11 conference record. Coming off a nice run in the Big 12 tournament, beating West Virginia and number 16 Kansas before ultimately falling to Baylor. As they start the second half with Aziz Ben by play, not just the bucket for themselves. I like the unselfishness of Cincinnati. Little offensive rebound, extra possession. Oh, Newman to go get it away. Needs a transition for San Francisco. Malik Thomas is up to 13 points. He became a starter in mid-December, coming off a 22-point performance in the loss to Gonzaga in the West Coast Conference Tournament. 
Newberry and one. Newman call for the personal. In this year, short on the and one. Pin down, that's his shot. Lukosius again. Four for four from three for Seamus. Force it a little bit down there too as he's Dan Dago. The play's worked a couple times, but needs a turnover here. Fouling the three-point yeah, shooter as Marcus Williams misses the three, but Lukosius ran EK of Gonzaga. Out with an illness today. Second one, NCAA championships. Looking forward the other way, a circus shot. And another quick possession for the Bearcats. Williams the other way, knocks down the three, and San Francisco is up a point, their first lead since 9.56 to go. They do. Lukosius bumped off his line, spinning, finding a lane, and foul. Nice patience, good footwork from Lukosius. The past few minutes here, Mike, and really... So Gerlifson rolling the dice a little bit with Mobo out there. Towards offensively. Thomas, sweet touch in the lane for Malik Thomas, who's up to five attempts. Kovetsky inside up top to Newberry. What a pass. What a pass from Newberry. My goodness. And got the assist to that one. Mark Kovetsky's first bucket. Skillings, little turnaround in the paint. He just has a knack for me. Beasley to the rack. Short on the finger roll. Oh, James out with it. Numbers for Cincinnati. Lukosius, corner three. That will get the Bearcats fans going. Fouls for San Francisco. Cincinnati unable to take advantage. Chisel James, a deep two. Another ISO for Chisel James. Sometimes you just... Scoreless for four minutes now for San Francisco. They turn it over again. Cincinnati, no numbers. Reed will go at the rim, and Josh Reed the bucket. Run for Cincinnati. Inside to Reynolds. Using his body, and Reynolds will go to the free throw line. This game here this evening. I, I'm a geek for college basketball. I just think that's so cool. That's awesome. Hang on, you're getting paid? Yeah, I, you're, you're not getting royalties from this? <laughs> Chisel James up top, Cincinnati. Oh, and a 10 nothing run. James loves that step yeah. back. Crossover. 16 on the shot clock here for San Francisco. Feels like you'd like to run some action for Mobo to get him involved. Can you find, get him some rhythm? Mobo, four points on two of eight shooting. There you go. Spins by oh. Chisel James and finishes with two hands. I don't want to say I called it, but man. Josh Newman, boy, he just can't buy a bucket. 0 oh for 9. Excuse me, John Newman just can't buy one. And quickly, Malik Thomas will stay with Cincinnati, I believe. It felt like they needed action for Mobo. Four minutes to go. Round number one of the NIT, the final game of the first round of the tournament. Mobo to the rack. They're going to him now. He's up to eight points now. Dave nice Thomas blow by. in the corner. Luke Kosius, another three. His sixth in seven attempts. Four fouls, although he's out there in the middle of that. Matchup zone they've got going on. Lukosius again. Oh, Career high. Seven threes for Simas Lukosius. Oh. Good ball pressure by Van Dago. He caused that. And keeps it in bounds. But possession didn't change. So you look at the shot clock, only seven seconds left. Newberry tough. Burying the shoulder. And 
the bucket. Quickly up the floor. Skillings lays it up and in. That's a hard thing to do against the Cincinnati team. It's very difficult to full court press. The guards are tenaciously quick. Thomas weaving, stopping. And one for Malik Thomas. That is the absolute best case scenario type bucket for the Dons. Is you get an and one opportunity, right? And there's layers to it, obviously, because they act as many timeouts for your squad, calling next. Really small lineup here for San Francisco. Good defense in the press. We'll stay with Cincinnati. 2.03 to play. And Dago, the lone Bearcat, in the front court. Thomas trapped. Gets out of it to Skillings. The lob, Bandago, oh, trying to go reverse. Had all the time in the world if he would have just brought it down and turned around. You're exactly right, Eric. Should have just come down with that and secured the possession. A great press break. Hey, Bobo does what Bandago couldn't do on the other end. Now Skillings up the floor. Skillings misses the dunk. Got it back and laid it up and in. It was almost a gift to San Francisco with the missed dunk. A Malik Thomas blocked by Bandago and a whistle. So you get the foul and then, oh yeah, it does hit. That's the perfect angle. It hits the backboard right before Bandango gets a piece of it. That was the best free throw shooter in the West Coast Conference, over 85% from the line. One possession ball game, 118 to play. Cincinnati up three with the basketball. Eric Rothman, Mike O'Donnell, courtside at Fifth Third Arena. The winner will play Bradley in the second round of the NIT. Cincinnati's made four of their last five from the floor. Most of those in transition. When in doubt, rim attack here for Cincinnati. Lukosius goes in, floats it up there, misses everything. Now Newbury bumping shoulders with Newman. No whistle. Newbury, offensive foul as the big man, Aziz Bandit. Takes the charge. And the bench for San Francisco is. So Lukosius to inbound. Chisel James walking it over the timeline. No pressure yet. 42 seconds on the game clock. Now 20 seconds on the shot clock. The freshman, Chisel James. Double team, 10 to shoot. Under 30 seconds to go in regulation. Here's Skillings, five to shoot. Skillings stops on a dime. Tough shot off the glass, no. Bandago the offensive rebound, and he's fouled. Getting across the backcourt, closer to the three-point line. Oh, lips out. Rebounded by Mobo. San Francisco down three. 12 seconds to play. Williams, baseline, Hammer kick out. action. Thomas for three. He ties it. Seven seconds to go. Cincinnati's got timeouts to use. And Bandango missed the free throw. And Malik Thomas ties the ball game. And he's got 26 points. The inbound to Jizzle James, the freshman. Here's Jizzle. Step back for the win. Well short. And we're going to overtime. What a comeback for San Francisco down the stretch, Mike O'Donnell. With four fouls. Lobo out there, wins the tip. San Francisco ending regulation on an 11-2 run. Williams had the assist on the game-tying three-pointer to Thomas. Lobo up top. Thomas again. He's Another high. one from Malik Thomas. 29 points on the court in favor of San Francisco. You could see Coach Miller, he got down in a crouching position, clapping to his guys, calling for energy and ball pressure on the defensive end. Underneath, Bandago came up short in a foul. It would have put Cincinnati up four, instead it led to the end's quiet once again.
Nice defense by Thomas. Well, Mobo at 2.45 to go. Tough shot for Thomas, and he gets bailed out. Get him to 30 points. Man, how good has he been? This year played 24 games, only two points per game. This year didn't become it on the board, the potential to set up your press. I would just stay in rim attack mode if I was the Bearcats. And Newman a foul. Not a good foul. And that'll put set. But the individual who just checked into the ball game is Jizzle James. Nobody gives Cincinnati life on both ends of the floor like Jizzle James. So what Jizzle can do here. Two-man game with Lukosius under two minutes to go. From the elbow. There it is. Jizzle James pulls Cincinnati within two. Right there on you cue. Go. Now the fans rise to their feet for the final minute 33. Cincinnati needs a stop. Thomas and his 30 point, 31 points calling for it. Thomas, Day Day took it away. Oh, and Day Day once again throws the basketball away. That's the second time in overtime. This goes going to milk the clock. Williams along too, contested, sat on the rim forever, into the hands of Mobo. 50 seconds to go and a second chance for San Francisco. 10 to shoot. Both teams look exhausted right now. Throw line. Nine seconds to shoot. Here's Mobo. There's the two-man game. Wants a handoff, finds Williams for three. Short. Oh, wow. and San Francisco gets the rebound. San Francisco has just out hustled Cincinnati here in the overtime period. Not going to foul yet. 10 to shoot. 20 seconds on the game clock. Mobo blocked by Lukosius. Newman rips down the rebound. Final 15 seconds. Jizzle James. Cincinnati has a timeout if they want it. James off, lost it off of his hip. 10 to go and a timeout taken. Surprised it took that long to take the timeout. Newman to inbound for Cincinnati. Bandego. Not the guy you want up top. Lukosius for the win. No! Lukosius put Cincinnati up one. Three seconds to go. San Francisco, no timeouts. Mobo misses. And Lukosius beats the buzzer. And Cincinnati advances. Cincinnati blew a nine-point lead with two minutes to go in regulation. Malik Thomas hit a three to send it to overtime. And Simas Lukosius hits his eighth three-pointer of the game, a career high. And Cincinnati wins it by one. They got what they wanted. And what you and I talked about, Eric, they got Lukosius off a pin down. A great screen from Sk open rhythm catch and shoot three perfectly executed by Cincinnati